All right, so now we're talking about a subject that is near and dear to my heart because my wife has been the person behind my outdoor living spaces with softening them for my whole life. I've been married 26 years to the love of my life and she loves her flowers for her outdoor living space. So every house that we've lived in has been a, a, a wonder of flowers and plants. And it's so amazing to be able to invite nature into your life. So I want you to experience this with your outdoor living space, but I want you to think about it like this. It's so important to get the bones right first. I say this a lot. You have to think about your outdoor living first, design it, and then think about the structures, the bones, and then you soften it with what's behind the bones, of course, and that's the flowers and the plants behind that. So we're gonna to talk to you and show you right now all about how to soften your outdoor living space, even if you have a very hardscape focus outdoor living space you can soften that very well with plants we're going to show you right now so with plants i want you to think about not only plants in the ground but i really want you to think about plants in the pots of a patio or vines that grow up either a fence a vertical structure or overhead really important to soften areas from all levels the ground, the ground level, so to speak, the upper level, so to speak, and then what you are walking on with the patio space. All those areas need that softening. So with flower pot planting, it is very important to soften your outdoor space. We do it in many ways with our border plants, our focal planting, some of the trees and evergreen plants that we plant in the flower beds. But once we start a hard surface and a patio surface and a destination patio and outdoor living space, it's really important that we soften that with our flower pot planting. Some of the main principles of flower pot planting would be the season that you're planting in, the colors that you're going for. Are you gonna go for perennials or annuals? Are you going to look for perhaps some winter color. The other thing about softening the space with plants is it's going to attract wildlife and I can't understate the importance of welcoming in the wildlife, the bees, the butterflies, the, the everything. The wildlife into your space, it's going to be it's gonna really turn your outdoor space into more than just your hangout. It's the, it's the hangout for nature, and it's a return to nature, and I want you to experience that with your outdoor living space. So really don't skimp on the importance of softening your space with plants and flowers. As you're seeing here, this definitely has my heart for just softening of your outdoor living space. As you who watch my channel, I truly love outdoor living. I love being outside. I love having my family out, my friends. I love hanging out. So you can see as we go through some of these photos, how the plantings really soften the hardscape features and the patio features. Look at this beautiful swimming pool here with the plantings all around it. It has beautiful hanging plants, lots of planted potted plants. It has the young boy here gazing into the water feature. Doesn't it look lush, inviting? Doesn't it make you just want to kind of take up a seat and enjoy that outdoor living space? And the reason is really because it's going to draw you to the hard surface, to all of the bones of the space. But really what really captures you and makes you want to stay in it is the softscape. It's the plants. It's the beauty all around.
So we want to plant whatever we love. We want to plant our favorites. Like these homeowners here, they both had green thumbs and you can see all kinds of plants and, and shrubs as you meander through the pathways of this garden space. Here we have an Asian theme or an Asian inspired backyard. It has lots of lights. We're accenting the trees and the plantings with these lights. And next we have a sprawling lawn and a water feature. Big pots and plants and accent greenery. And here we have teak furnishings enhanced by a pond foliage. The front yard has a dry creek bed and plantings. And I really love the textures that this creates, where you have the dry creek bed with some boulder settings, and then you have all of that beautiful pond foliage. It really creates an amazing space. And then we have the fabulous pond with boulders and vegetation mixed in. It really becomes one mega outdoor space with the beauty all around it with the softscape. Have you ever thought about taking a trail walk near your vegetable garden? Many plantings enhance the boardwalk area. This poolscape here is surrounded by nature's greenery, making the pool and firelight pop. Another dry creek bed with a mix of trees and bushes is extraordinary. We also have tropical themed plants that really make the landscape fun. It's, it turns it into a themed yard, being a very tropical oasis. And then we have decks and patios where we can really invite us to enjoy furnishings, enjoy plants with accessories and soften the whole space with beautiful lines and hardscape features. It is like the breath of life in our outdoor living space and we are invited to relax in this space really because of the softscape and the beauty of the plants and the flowers all around. So for your plantings for your garden beds, there's so many different fun principles that you can consider. These ones feature here an herb garden. We have a cute little design here that we've done with little herb individual gardens. But a lot of times you have a planting garden that is done for vegetables, perhaps a cut garden. And there's lots of different layers, different thoughts and different themes that go in planting for your garden beds. The main theme is to have fun and to do what you want to do. What's going to attract you to the garden space to get you out, perhaps just doing some cut flowers, perhaps grabbing some vegetables or some, uh, some lettuce for an evening barbecue. What's going to get you out in your garden space, in your garden beds? That's the key to a good planting for your garden beds. softening a space I hope you understood and get the, behind why it's so important to soften the space with flowers with plants with vines with whatever you can imagine to, to give that green life that living life to your space but now we're going to talk to you about night lighting and how important it is to light up that nightlife with outdoor lighting and lighting up the space for those evening hours so enjoy the next video please don't forget to subscribe to this one though right now and then don't forget to like and hit that bell notification and we'll see you very shortly. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm so close. I'm so close. So close. Where are you from? Okay.